Hi guys, this is Jason here from the Nathaniel School of Music and in this lesson, let's work on our left hand rhythm patterns which will go over a melody line which we are going to play in the right hand. So one way to generally develop independence on the instrument is to perhaps play a chord, a static chord in the right hand and then play a bass line or the chord tones in the left hand and then you kind of compare the rhythms between the two hands and that's one kind of independence but another very important kind of independence to develop on an instrument like the piano is to do two things or two different aspects of music with both your hands in this case the melody is going to be played by my right hand and the my chord movement and the bass patterns are going to be played by the left hand with a very keen sense of rhythm uh, following very closely to the percussion section or the drummer or the groove building system which you need to develop here okay so let's get started first and build the melody i have chosen a very simple melody on e flat which i have built for you for the lesson uh, let's just see how it sounds Let's just look at E flat major very quickly. Seven notes for any major scale. E flat has three flats: E flat, A flat, and B flat. E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat. So this melody got built from that scale. You could follow my finger, finger, finger usage. Right, so that's going to be your melody, and if I count it, it's a very sixteenth note melody, isn't it? One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. So it's a little syncopated, if you ask me. So that's going to create some interesting challenges for the left hand once we start building the left hand. So it's one and. One e and a two e and a. So if you get just that figure, I think you'll be fine. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e. So if you just vo vocalize that with maybe just the pulse, pum pum ba ba bum pum, or a slower pulse, pum pum ba ba bum pum ba da da pum ba ba da pum ba ba bum. I'd always encourage you to sing the melody and then try to play it on the piano. So you go. Okay, so get that into your system, and now let's start off with the left hand rhythm patterns. Before we do, it'll be awesome if you guys could subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the bell icon for notifications if you haven't already. Thanks. Let's get started. So the first rhythm pattern which we are going to do in the left hand is extremely easy. It's just your pulse, which you're just going to play in a very persistent way in the left hand. And the notes which you could use are well, you could just play the root of the scale, which is E flat, and that should sound quite good actually. So before I play the pulse here, it's a nice option to tap it out here. possibly on your chest because it sounds a bit bassy so you go so do the pulse first don't bring in the pulse later because the pulse serves as the foundation so you practice pam pam pa ra re te te ra ra pa pa ra ra pa pa get that going with the melody you could also try a faster pulse which is and then we try producing it on the piano with a with a simple root tonic or e flat and what i like to do in the left hand is to always play the root as well as its its octave or at least the fifth right to make it a nice thick bass uh, bass sound so you go just a simple e flat which is being played 
थ्री फोर विथ द मेलेडी अगेन राइट सो वेन यू डू द लेफ्ट हैंड ऑल्सो फोकस ऑन नॉट ओनली द फैक्ट ऑफ हिटिंग द लेफ्ट हैंड एग्जैक्टली एट द पल्स बट ऑल्सो एक्सप्लोरिंग अ फ्यू डायनामिक चेंजेस इन द साउंड द फर्स्ट थिंग यू कुड एक्सप्लोर इज pretty much legato versus staccato legato is a long sound right you could use the pedal or you could just hold it with your finger staccato is a choppy sound so this is going to be an interesting layer of independence so if you're not getting it it's okay but if you have already got the pulse i would encourage you to try toggling so maybe i could do legato staccato or just a Yeah, let's try legato staccato. Right or maybe all staccatos. You may sometimes then do staccato in the right hand, which is a bit tricky. So you need to keep the same kind of melody or the same sonic quality of the melody in the right hand while changing the texture in the left hand. It's pretty much as though well it is true that both hands are sort of different instruments serving different musical roles come to think of it so get used to that staccato legato staccato Let me now try and combine staccato meets legato. You may not like all of these permutations, but it's good to get it all under your belt when you practice to get a nice holistic kind of uh, practice routine going on for you. So the next thing could be leg legato staccato. right so you could play around with legato and staccato as you choose the other thing i like to do with just the pulse is do a slowish pulse and then a fast pulse what i mean by that is the fast pulse is just the normal uh, eighth notes which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 and or you could even count that as 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and then your melody here would be eighth notes right or you do the slow pulse and then the melody here would be represented using 16th notes or the melody in the right hand so let me show you the uh, fast pulse going to the slow pulse right so as you observe the fast pulse is more on an eighth note system or is just double of the slow pulse so you can call it whatever you want but basically follow your head movement and perhaps with the head i guess that's what makes it the slow pulse pam pam pa re pa pa re and when you double that head movement pam pam pa ba bam i don't want to move my head as fast as the piano so i'll keep my head the way it is to avoid a neck pain and stuff like that and then yeah you build the speed variations accordingly now you don't have to just stick with playing the root which is e flat you could also play a few notes you could you could try out maybe a g or i quite like the c there it sounds quite cool a flat b flat another thing you'll observe is when the notes of the two hands sort of meet together or you know clash with each other you may not be able to play the octave 
so then you could look out and play the fifth instead so fifth of any root is a nice replacement for the octave for example e flat with octave c with octave a flat with octave but now i want to play b flat with its fifth which is f because my melody note has taken over to play b flat so again let's try some left hand changes A flat. Right, guys, now that we've learned about the pulse in all its versions, you have the legato, the staccato version, the slow pulse, and the fast pulse. What I'd also like to try out now with you is the toggling pulse. Toggling pulse is where you take the octave, E flat and E flat, or the fifth, E flat and B flat, and toggle it along with the pulse. So that'll be. high low high root octave pinky thumb okay so earlier we actually played it together it's a which is a little easy than what this is all about i guess uh, so you should try this out as well toggling toggle root octave with the melody whatever dynamics or whatever expressions you wanted to give to your melody like some notes are a bit bouncy some notes are a bit long some notes are a bit soft some notes are a bit loud all that needs to keep keep itself it needs to retain itself so don't compromise the expression of the melody because of all the fancy stuff happening in the left hand the left hand has to be practiced like another instrument happening in one brain so to speak so you go toggle sing and here and there you may lose the pulse it's okay but try to come back so back to toggling with some changes e flat c a flat B flat Right so toggling pulse adds a sense of groove and it adds a sense of color to your groove it sort of slowly brings out uh, uh, like a drum kit in the left hand of your piano the bass will be like your kick drum and the octave could be like a snare drum right moving on another kind of pulse which i like to play is a disco pulse what i call as a disco pulse and that essentially sounds like very disco music from the 80s you go so essentially you're playing eighth notes or 16th notes however you call it like faster than the pulse so you go versus toggling which we learned earlier a bit slower still on the pulse but disco will be at a faster pace play along come back to toggle pulse fast pulse disco right so we've done pulse we've done toggling pulse we've done the disco pulse and now we need another rhythm pattern and we have to go with everyone's favorite 
ever rhythm pattern which is we will rock you so how does that go well you all know it dup dup ta dup dup ta kick kick snare so it's like a on the pulse rhythm and uh, what i would recommend is pinky pinky thumb pinky pinky thumb root root octave let's see how that goes dup dup ta we Probably sing "We Will Rock You" just to have some fun. I have no clue of the words, but you get the idea. And then we will, and so on. So keep that going, and then bring back our original melody, which is. always try to sort of combine this with what you've learned already in the past so maybe if i do we will rock you with something of the past like a pulse disco do we will rock you disco right so that's about we will rock you pretty much on the pulse but you don't do da 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 you do 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 ta do do ta kick kick snare right guys one more and then we will break this video and then do part 2 where i'm going to tell you five more left hand rhythm patterns which may be little bit more interesting or little bit more challenging than what we are doing now right so the last rhythm pattern which we are going to study for this part of the part 2 series is the tresio which is a very very popular afro cuban rhythm or a latin rhythm pattern which is used in almost every genre you'll find in the field of groovy dance music or pop music it goes something like this If I have to count it, it's a little bit more intense because it's playing over those sixteens, sixteen notes. So one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a right and a four e one e and a two. So now you have to get that with the melody there. So it may be possible to play chords first. That could be a good start. Start with just a chord. not yet the melody then try to sing the melody over this pa 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 re re te ta re re pa pa re re pa pa re re pa pa re re te te re re te and then whenever you're ready give it a go te ra re re pa pa re ru pa ba re ru pa pa re re te ta re re te te re ru pa ba re ru that's the tresio and the way i'm playing the tresio on the piano is to pa pa kick snare snare that okay one year a two year right so in this lesson we've learned how to play the pulse to support the right hand melody we've looked at the toggling pulse bringing out the drum like quality the disco pulse very groovy then we've looked at everyone's favorite rhythm we will rock you do do ta then we've looked at the popular uh, latin rhythm which is tresio do pa pa um pa pa so moving forward we are going to pretty much take the same melody but we'll then look at different options in the left hand and i'm going to keep it i'm going to continue to keep it very simple i'm just going to take the root and the octave in the left hand or the root and the fifth if you can't fit the octave into the along with the right hand we are not going to really do it with chords just get a good foundation with the root and the octave so head over to part 2 for more rhythmic challenges <laughs>